Hello guys. So uh, you have already seen uh, us how we read how we reached Pondicherry in uh, last three episodes. Uh, so here is the fourth episode is all about uh, why we did or why we uh, why we rode all the way uh, from Mumbai and Pune to Pondicherry. So the objective of the ride was we wanted to ride all the way from Pondicherry east coast to Pondicherry west coast and we wanted to do it before the sunset. So um, we got an inspiration from Power Drift's bucket list video uh, in which uh, I think uh, Shumi and the other guy uh, they also did the coast to coast ride. We have seen that video a um, uh, couple of years ago and um, uh, I could not uh, go on that ride because of some uh, reasons. Uh, so this year um, finally uh, everything uh, went went in the right way and um, I was actually ready for that ride. Shantanu, Ganesh and Nachiket, uh, you have seen them already in the three uh, last, last three episodes. So they could uh, manage to join me. Uh, it was a slightly crazy ride, I would say. Uh, it was a challenging ride also. Um, because, uh, see, um, the normal riding is something which is easier. Uh, you can do uh, 500, 300, 700 kilometers without any time limit. But when you are doing something this, and uh, when you have to uh, when you have to ride more than 600 kilometers and if you have a time limit that you have to do it within 11 hours then it's slightly challenging and risky so the last uh, one or two hours were more crucial because uh, the moment we entered kerala in the north part of kerala the climate was more humid and there was a, a lot of traffic uh, started this ride after the sunrise in pondicherry that is on the east coast um, we could manage to uh, cover around uh, 450 480 kilometers within five to six hours we could reach uh, palakkad which is in kerala at around uh, 12 41 pm in the afternoon but then to cover another 150 180 kilometers we took around five hours uh, so those uh, those five hours were more crucial uh, because um, the roads were narrow, the, the road condition wasn't that great and uh, the traffic, don't ask me, it was absolutely horrible. People were riding the way they want I and mean, there was absolutely no sense. Uh, but yes, somehow we managed to do it uh, carefully and safely and uh, this video is all about that. Uh, the next two videos um, after this are going to be uh, how we reached, uh, how we uh, reached, or how we traveled from Mahe to uh, Davangiri, and in the last part, uh, traveled all the way to Pune from Davangiri. So keep watching this video and uh, have fun. If you have any doubts, if you want to make, if you want to ride the same uh, way we did, you can uh, connect with me anytime. You can write down in the comment section. I will certainly get back to you. So keep watching, thank you. So this was the main highway. Um, after the sunrise, we started um, towards uh, the west coast at Mahe. So this is the road which connects uh, the Salem. So the first destination is going to be Salem and later uh, we will be going through Coimbatore. So these are the basically two uh, biggest landmarks of our ride. And we are at uh, constant 100 km per hour. It's cloudy so it's slightly comfortable to ride on. So at least we are maintaining the speed of 100 on this road. Uh, it's a single lane road basically. It's a bypass to one of the village. It's a small village uh, while uh, reaching Salem. Uh, we have already uh, covered a 100 km mark. I have just uh, shown you. So there was a road construction going on uh, on both the sides. So hence it is uh, open, uh, the, the, single, the single lane is open uh, for, uh, for travelers.
ahead of me is uh, Nachiket and uh, we are on uh, we, are, we have almost reached uh, Rish Salem we are crossing the Salem city uh, this is basically the outskirt uh, we don't have to enter the city and uh, it's a good uh, four lane highway and uh, you can comfortably ride um, at 100 km per hour at 100 km per hour there are signals and uh, there is a traffic yes so far we have taken only uh, uh, two brakes the first brake you have already seen uh, uh, through Garu's uh, Ganesh's camera ahead of me is the Chiket he is riding his Himalayan and uh, we are now approaching uh, Coimbatore Um, I'm about to. We are about to reach Coimbatore, and uh, um, the rider I met on that stretch, he was uh, on his uh, Adventure 390 and riding brilliantly. I mean, uh, right. Because riding AD at that speed constantly is, uh, requires a lot of skills and focus. Hats off to that guy. I was behind him and um, he was uh, actually not uh, riding very risky. So it was, I mean, I just thought I could uh, ride along with him. It's actually fun. We're remembering uh, the old days when. Uh, I used to ride uh, on Pune Mumbai Highway along with uh, Fedor riders. So now uh, approaching, now uh, we are reaching near uh, Coimbatore. Again, we are not entering the city for sure. Uh, you have already seen us. You have already seen on the map. Uh, we are we are going to take the outskirts. So here is another rider wearing a fancy helmet. I think he's from Tamil Nadu because uh, the number says it, TN. And uh, we are now almost uh, crossing uh, the Coimbatore city. Uh, on the on on the right hand side, uh, you can see the city and uh, uh, the uh, the uh, basically. I mean, that's the area where the Coimbatore, Coimbatore city is and uh, we are taking the outskirts and uh, going for going ahead to towards Palakkad So uh, here is a slight diversion after the Coimbatore and uh, it's again a single lane road and uh, uh, has a moving traffic. So uh, again the, the, the overall speed or the average speed goes down here on this track. I mean that was again, again one of the challenges uh, we have had faced during that uh, ride. So we are waiting for the, <coughs> we are waiting for uh, Ganu and uh, because uh, they're going to fill the petrol uh, it's uh, you can see 141 exactly 
and so far we have covered 450 kilometers um, another 150 to 180 kilometers to go and we have to do it before the, so the sunset happens <coughs> We have already clocked uh, 538 kilometers, 540 kilometers so far. So, like I said earlier, after Palakkad, after after leaving Palakkad, we reached uh, Kozikode. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrongly. Koikode, people say Koizikode is what I say. Uh, I really apologize for that. Uh, so after that, uh, that Koikode, uh, the road goes uh, through. Uh, it's a basically a coastal highway, which is the the, the road goes parallel to the uh, seashore or uh, the coast. That is the west coast, and uh, here uh, is a. Actually, the, the, the traffic uh, or the road condition wasn't that uh, great on this uh, uh, this track basically uh, because the road construction work is going on. There are uh, because it was it, it's already evening and uh, there are lot many commuters who are returning from office. So you you can see lot of traffic on this road. So that this is again one of the challenges uh, we had during our uh, last leg of uh, journey, I would say. So that's the that's the last uh, 15 minutes of ride, and uh, we are about to reach uh, the seashore at uh, Mahe near Mahe. We have already identified the place where we are going to take a break and see the sunset. So Nachiket is, is, is uh, leading, and uh, we all of us are just following him so that we can reach on time. I hope that we are not going to miss the sunset. 620. We still have uh, another uh, 15 minutes. So I would say last 15 minutes. Yes, we did it. Bike bore you that day, na? Bike jaega na? 